Hello friends, this video on statistics part 4 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So let's take a group frequency distribution table. So you see, it's all grouped, all classes grouped. And this is non-overlapping. This is ending at 35, starting at 36, ending at 40, starting at 41. This is a group frequency distribution table and in which the weight of 38 students of a class are given. Now, in the middle of the interval, two students are to be added and whose weights are 35.5 and 40.5. So, 35.5 I can't even add here, 40.5 I can't even add here. So, it's difficult to add these two students because the this is non-overlapping. Right? The current distribution is non-overlapping. So, the current, just right here, non-overlapping. Non overlapping class. Because this non overlapping class, I will not be able to add these two students. Okay, because there is a gap, there is a gap between the upper limit of this and the lower limit of the consecutive class. See 36 minus 1, 35. There is a gap. And the gap is what? Here. Yeah. Upper limit of class minus lower limit of consecutive class so for example if you take 36 minus 35 sorry 35 minus 36 you take an absolute value of this that is nothing but 1 similarly if you take 40 minus 41 that is also so we have to remove this gap. Okay, so we have to remove this gap, that means we have to make it overlap in class. So to remove this gap, so the gap is one, it has to be distributed in the two class. Correct? So what we can do is we can actually the new class interval will be old class or lower limit. So from that you subtract gap by 2 and upper limit you add gap by 2 so both the gap you, you know you have moved this class gap by 2 this I mean it is like you know from both the side you are extending your class by gap by 2 for example this 31 will become 30.5 so from this side you have increased by 0.5 and 35 will become 35.5. So class you are expanding both side by half of class. Similarly here also 36 will become 35.5 and 40 will become 40.5. So let me write the new class. So let's write the new, new interval. 31 becomes 30.5 to 35.5. This becomes 36 becomes 35.5, 40 becomes 40.5. You are adding on the right side. 41 becomes 40.5, 45 becomes 45.5. Similarly, 46 becomes 45.5. This becomes 50.5. So 51 becomes 50.5 and 55.5. Similarly, 56 becomes 55.5. 60 becomes 60.5. 61 you reduce from 60.5, 65 becomes 65.5 because 65 you add the gap by 2, that is you add 0.5. 66 you subtract 0.5, which becomes 65.5. 70 you add 0.5, 70.5. 71 you subtract 0.5, 70.5. 75 you add 0.5, 75.5. This is the new class interval, and if you see, they are overlapping. Right, 35.5, 35.5. The upper limit of this class and the lower limit of the next class, they are matched. Now, if you see, I can easily add these guys. So, now if you see, now the question is 35.5, shall I add here or here? So, by convention, so by convention, when you this, whatever is in the upper limit that is not included, that means this class holds data from 30.5 to 35.5, where 35 is not included. Right, so 30.5 by convention, this value is not included. This value, 
So 35.5 will be in this. Similarly, 40.5 will not be in this, it will be in this. So as per convention, I'll tell you. So if it is 35.52. Or it, let's suppose it is 10 to 15. 15 is not included. This will be 10 to 20, let's suppose. 20 is not included. So 15 will be in this. Similarly, in this case, 30.5 to 35.5. 35.5 is not included. This is by convention. Okay. So that is the case. Please note that that will not be included. This is by convention. So we'll add this here. So in which intervals they'll be included? So they'll be included in 35.5 to 40.5 and 40.5 to 45.5 class intervals. So now when you add these two, the total number of students become 40. So if you see the overlapping class and non-overlapping class is a disadvantage of creating a overlapping class because it is a non-overlapping class because in non-overlapping class there is always a gap and then you can't add data in that gap range. So it is always good to create a overlapping class intervals. Okay. The question says the blood group of 30 students of the class 8 are recorded. A, B, O, O, A, B, O, A. We will represent this data in the form of frequency distribution table and which is the most common in the, which is the rarest blood group. So if you see, in this case, there is no scope of creating the class, right? The class typically you create when the data you have is a number. There is no case, case of creating a class. So we'll create an ungroup frequency distribution table. So we see the different type of blood group here. We have A, so we have B, so B. We have O, so we have A, B, so A, B. We don't have any other group. So let's count A, 1, B, 1, O, 1, again O, 1, A, B, 1, O, A, O, B. O, A, O, B. A, O, B, A. A, O, B, A. Similarly, O, O, A. O, O, A. A, B, O, A. A, B, O, A. A, O, O. A, O, O. A, B, B, A. A, B, B, A. O, B, A. O, B, A. B, O. B, O. So if you see this, A has how many? 3, 5 plus 4, 9. B has how many? 5 plus 1, 6. A, B is how many? 3. And this is more 12. O is 12. So if you see, going by this data, you can see that the rarest group is what? A, B. And the most common group is what? 12. So with looking at this data, it was very difficult to tell me which is the rarest group and which is the most common group. But just by creating this ungrouped, sorry, group frequency distribution table, Sorry, ungrouped. It's ungrouped because we don't have the grouping of the class. Just by creating this frequency distribution table, you can easily say that O is the most common group and AB is the least group, at least as per this data. I'm not sure if this is correct data, but as per this data, this is the interpretation we could get. So if you see here, so we have got this data for a specific purpose, then we have represented this data, and then we have analyzed this data, and then we interpreted that O is the most common that group. Okay, and AB is the most rarest blood group. So this information can be used by maybe blood bank. So they will uh, maybe uh, store more AB group because that is rare. O group even if required, they know that they can get from the market. Patient can easily get from the market. But AB group is rare, so there will be more demand for AB group. So maybe the blood bank people can 
store more AB group, right? So this information can be used by uh, various organizations. Let's take one more example. The distance in kilometer for 40 engineers from their residence to their place. So this is the residence and this is their office. So there are some 40 engineers and that is given. We have to create a group frequency distribution table. Please note, it is a group frequency distribution table. Class size is also given. And uh, the first interval is also given. And we know that by convention 0 to 5, 5 will not be included. And uh, what main features do you observe for this? So from, let's first create a tabular form of the data. The first distribution they are saying is 0 to 5. The class size is given 5, so obviously the next will be what? 5 to 10. Right? Please note 0 to 5, 5 not included that. That means we are talking about the overlapping uh, classes, right? 5 to 10, then 10 to 15, 15 to 20. 20 to 25, 25 to 30, 30 to 35, let's see what is possible, what is the maximum distance, I could get is 31, yeah, 32, I think that this intervals will do, and let's do a tally now, 5, 3, 10, 20, 5 will come here, 3 will come here, 10 will come here, 20 will come here. 25, 11, 30. 25 will come here. 11 will come here. 13 will also come here. 7, 12, 31. 7 will come here. 12, 31. 19, 10, 12. 19, 10, 12. 17, 18, 11. 17 will come here, 18 will also come here, 11 will come here. 32, 17, 16. 32, 17, 16. 279. 279. 783. 783. 5, 12, 15. 5 will obviously come here, it will not come there. 5, 12, 15 will not come in this group, it will come here, why? Because this part is not included, the upper part is not included. 18, 3, 12, 18, let me go for 5, 18, 3, 12, 12 will come somewhere here. 14 to 9, 14 will come here, 2 will come here, 9 will come here, 6, 15, 15, 6 will come here, 15 will obviously come here, 15 will again come here, 7, 6, 12, 7 will come here, 6 will also come here, 12 will come here. So if you now see the chart, 0 to 5 there, 5. Then 5 to 10, 11, 10 to 15, again 11, 15 to 20, they are 9, 20 to 25, 1, 25 to 30, 1, 30 to 35, 2. So this is the frequency, this is just a tally mark for our convenience. So from this we observe that and if you add this frequency, just add for Double check, 16, 26, 40, yeah, it's 40. So, now if you see, we can say that maximum people have a distance in the range of 5 to 15 actually, both have till 11. And very few people have in the range of 20 to 30. Right? So we can actually observe from this tabular data that okay, maximum people of the range 5 to 50. So this actually can be used by some transportation company maybe to provide service to this kind of people knowing that this is the range of distance 
they are looking for, the engineers are looking for, right? So with that, or maybe the petrol pump nearby, they can use this data to find out how much petrol or, or diesel or gasoline will be required by these customers. I mean, these data can be used by anyone, right? I mean, this is just data. So what we have done is with this data, we have put in the table and this is more presentable. And with that, we could actually observe a lot of things, right? We could observe that most of the people actually are staying in the distance of 5 to 15 kilometers and very, very few in the range of 20 to 30. So that sector may not be taken. Okay. Thank you. Visit our website examfear.com to watch more and more quality education videos. You can also attempt free online tests that are there in our website. You can also get access to tons of free study materials and you can also find free tutors and mentors in this website. Thanks a lot for watching.